Hey, Ivan, I'm Arbazir. Welcome back to the carnage that is Civilization 5 reverse colonization with Quill 18. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> because it is carnage right now. There's nothing like beating up France. It just <laughs> yep. feels good, you know? Always so satisfying. I'm actually going to kill one of their great engineers right now. Mm -hmm. And especially since Napoleon is one of the craziest AIs in the game. I had yeah. situations where he backstabbed me like three times in a row between declarations of friendship. Mm -hmm. he's, he's just crazy. You know, I wonder if I could liberate uh, Florence. I don't have the happiness to take a city, which is why you're going to take Lyon. Uh, uh, yeah, we could actually go for Florence after Lyon. Yeah, I'm going to give it another bomb. Oh, Makes sense. Can, why can't I bombard from here? What? One, two, three. It's artillery. It should have range. This one did. Uh, what? what are you trying to bombard? Lyon. Uh, yeah, you should be able... Oh, line... No. Artillery has indirect fire. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now I can. For some reason I couldn't a second oh. ago, and now I can. That was weird. <laughs> Maybe, oh, hold on. I might have had the wrong, yeah, I had the wrong guy selected. Ah, okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to reposition my troops to go to Florence and uh, liberate them. I I'm, I'm Murica. I'm going to bring some freedom. And I should be able to help with that battleship once it's repaired. <laughs> <laughs> Your one hit point battleship. <laughs> so oh, that will so take good. a while, probably. Oh, right, but I'm repairing in your territory. Well. Or Leon has basically nothing left. Mm -hmm. Just to unmute this guy, will be fine. I don't uh, even think France has any fighters or bombers left. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Since I'm not uh, currently building any science buildings or anything like that, I don't think my science uh, output's yeah. going to increase. I'm going to go ahead and burn the great scientists. It'll get us satellites right now. And while getting yeah, satellites isn't critical, although Hubble Space Telescope is sexy, it does okay, get do us closer to... Uh, yeah, Plus. down at the bottom, combustion, combined arms, okay. computers, yeah. I think it yeah. goes into, like, a random tech if you don't have anything queued up. Oh, really? I'm not sure what the rule is. It does go into some research. It's not, like, completely lost. There we go. That's what I was hoping for, too. We found four natural mm -hmm. wonders. Oh, nice. Hello, positive happiness. So now I'm making 577 science per turn. Mm -hmm. City State has King Solomon's mines. <laughs> And AI didn't do anything with the Great Barrier Reef. It has a city just outside of range. I oh, really? In my current range, there's a Great Barrier Reef next Jeez. to like a continent or big island. And AI settled two cities just outside of range of the Great Barrier Reef. It hurts to look at it. Troll <laughs> AI. Yeah. Oh, I got a new spy. Oh, did that open up a new era? It did too. Oh, yeah, it did. Nice one. Uh, I'll probably so, use that one for city states, honestly. Yeah, that's mostly what I'm doing. How's my spying going? I've got uh, 15 turns to potentially attack from Brazil. Other than that, all my spies are in city states, hoping to coup. You could uh, try to get some mercantile city state. That would fix your happiness problems. Yeah. Um, I don't remember here. We've got Samarkand and Kohakia and Antwerp and Zanzibar. Samarkand, Kohakia, I already got that. I don't have anyone in Antwerp, though. It's possible we didn't know where Antwerp was at the time. Uh, I got one spy in Samarkand, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, I've got one in Samarkand it's... as well, which means I, I think ah, we'd okay. actually be, like, working against each other in that case. Uh, well, we? I mostly want to stay friendly with Samarkand. Right. I don't plan to stay Jekyll. Right, but every time your spy ticks over, it... Um, it lowers the influence of everyone else, right? And no, I think that's only if you try to stage a coup. Uh, when you coup, you, you replace it. Otherwise, you just increase your own thing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, satellites, this, that. So many pop ups. No longer friends with Yerevan. Okay, so, where did you send your other spy to? Uh, to Antwerp. Uh, okay. So, all I'll three mercantiles. The other thing I, I could do is something maybe like Almaty. Ooh, Canterbury might fall next turn. I'll send mine to Cahokia then. Just in case. Ragusa declared war on us. Mm -hmm. I guess they got allied with France. I don't even know where Ragusa is. Yeah, I'm waiting for the turn to finish popping. France wants peace treaty. I don't think so. Not yet. 
Oh yeah, we can go Ragusa here, find on map. Oh, way up there, in the middle of Poland. Alright, I don't think that's gonna be a problem then. Oh yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Steal first French worker. I wonder if Poland is actually going to wipe out England. Because they took three cities from England now. We might help them out once we're done with France. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there's can. Wow. Do you need me to oh. bombard Lyon? Or do you have uh, it? I'm not sure if I can actually take it right now. No, I need to do it on the next turn. Unless we can kill the infantry. Because zone of control. Oh, I can kill the infantry. I should. I've got some... Okay. There we go. Logistic dude. Uh, I need a little bit of extra damage to Lyon. And there you go. That's enough. There we go. So Great puppet. There is a destroyer nearby, but I don't think one destroyer is going to be enough. No, one melee shouldn't be able to do it. So we'll keep it going for now because there's no there's no threat. Mm -hmm. yeah. We might watch out because it's not bad. Um, and I would like to liberate Florence if we can pull it off. Oh yeah, I agree. Do I have? And um... we could take some more uranium while we're at it from shards. Oh, yeah. Yay! More nukes. And things. I'm still amazed by Rome pulling off Satricum. Eight uranium with a city in the middle of French territory. <laughs> like, what? That has never been touched, despite the fact that they have been in a war and everything. Yeah. I'm actually amazed that they managed to hold that city. Yeah. How long before Paris flips? Okay, four turns of resistance left. Not bad. Maybe it was France was just busy elsewhere, and they didn't have time to retake it. Well, yeah, they were fighting um, around, uh, well, Neapolis mm -hmm. and Mediolan, I think, yeah. in that war, so they're like, nah, it's fine. But it's still surprising, because they get such a beautiful surround. And yeah, that's so much production over there. The iron mine, too. And it had to be blind luck, because Rome <laughs> didn't know uranium is there. They settled that city long before they revealed uranium on the map. Yeah. Oh! Leo flipped. Oh, they brought a second destroyer. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. That should probably just mean a dead destroyer here. I think we I should be able to retake to it. bring a new infantry now. I'll need one more turn. In that case. Okay, yeah. Ah, well, I could take it with my anti-aircraft gun and then just mm. give it to you. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Boop. Rip. And... Just kind of sucks that I lost Mobile Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should get a new one. Uh, Leon. There you go. I'm actually a positive happiness even with it, but it still makes more sense for you to have it. One, two, three, so we can bombard from here. Lovely. Oh, I still got 16 happiness. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know if Lyon's got, like, some happiness hey, buildings in there or something. Kept the Colosseum. Nice. That, despite that being up. taken, like, three mm -hmm. times. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive. Well, flipping it was actually good for happiness because it has less population, so it creates less unhappiness because of that. Right, that's true. And less uh, less rebellion as well. Although it's yeah. nice to take a high population city, but you can recover. Oh, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. that gives us happiness to take more cities. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, did I? I picked the wrong thing. Derp -a derp. We could just keep attacking along the coast, all the way to Brown, or however you pronounce that. To get yep. a border with England. And then maybe attack England to take London. Yeah, that's true. Because we definitely do want to, I mean, pursue that victory condition still. Yeah. That probably makes more sense than going after um, Chartres. I mean, Chartres a nice city. It's got uranium, it's got coal, it's got all sorts yeah. of stuff going for it. But, yeah. And Marseille would give us a couple of crabs. Can't and uranium, remember. though. Mm-hmm. So I think that makes more sense for us right now, especially since England will be very weakened. Oh yeah, well they're they completely destroyed. 
question is, are they going to die outright? They're also at war against the Romes, the Celts, yeah. Brazil, Poland. Yeah, and, and they have the weakest army in the game right now. So they might actually just die by the time we get to London. That would be inconvenient. The one Our thing city. I'm a little bit worried about is that Poland might snowball with a massive army. Well, they've been pretty crazy so far. Mm. And of yeah. course, they're, well, they're not literally the hardest for us to get to. That would be something like Brazil. But it's still a giant pain in the ass for us to do anything to them. Warsaw would be a bit of a pain to take. It's all the way to the north. Yeah. Very far away. Rome is pretty close. <laughs> and we're going to have to take it at some point. It's handy to have yeah. Rome be sort of passive at this point. But we may have to mix it up with them. But I think we need to do something about Rio de Janeiro. It's at 30 population and Brazil is snowballing with tourism. Yeah. We need to do something about Brazil. Well, we've got enough coastal artillery. stuff. We'll be able to, uh, you know... Yep. Oh, there's French infantry coming in. I'll start working on the bigger fleet, probably. I will have that one battleship so far. We'll need more than that. Yeah, and I haven't built a ship yet. Oh, I gotta worry about my finances. I'm starting to build cargo ships again, but man, oh man. Being at one of seven, seven trade routes now. Well, mm, I was lucky that they didn't get plundered or anything like that. I I could uh, unlock City at least. We don't actually have that much time left in this game when you think about it. This is turn 452 already. Yeah, there's what, 300 turns in, left. Information era. Right, yeah, I guess we're not going to run out of time time, but we could run out before the AIs win. Boudicca declared war on Napoleon. Oh, they're dogpiling now. Yeah. Hmm. I gotta worry a little bit about Brazil taking Florence. It should be very, Oh, yeah, yeah, that might actually annoying. happen. My battleship is still repairing, <laughs> 61 hit points. That will take a few more turns. I can actually get cover one or march on my logistics plus one range artillery now. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty crazy. And that's a pretty I would tough think, decision. I would think cover? Yeah, I think I'll to go protect for Protect against cover. planes and other artillery. Yeah. That's plus 33% defense against ranged attacks. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Hard to ignore. Yeah. I usually only go for march on melee units that already have cover too. Since what good is healing if you are going to lose the unit outright? <laughs> you can't heal something that got killed. Yep. All right. Might be able to take Florence next turn. Probably I'll need one more. Are you actually Although, going to take it or liberate it? I'm gonna I'm gonna liberate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think our deal just expired. Mm, oh yeah. Or that might have been you sending sugar to me. Sugar to wet for whales. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure I could still use whales. Yeah. Let's reset that. There you go. We could still try to go with the nuke plan. Since, you know, we have uranium, we could build nukes. Yep. Okay. Question is, how do we use them? We could grab a carrier, load it with nukes, and try to take Rio like that. I was going to say, that might be the way to take on Brazil. Yeah. It's coastal. I it like probably that is. Brazil does have quite a lot of units, close to Bjorn cities mostly. <laughs> and they do have the strongest army right now. If or when we declare war on Brazil, you'll need to be careful with that. 
True. Well, one thing that'll probably happen is I'd probably burn down Curitiba. Curitiba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it doesn't actually bring anything to the game, and removing it would be really nice for my existing cities. Okay, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, is this okay. the turn where I've acted already? Or is this an... Yeah, okay, so I've got... And it should be pretty easy to take that city as well. Mm-hmm. I think one more bombard would be fine. Okay. I'm you should there. repair that citadel near Douglas. There's a pillage citadel. Next to Douglas. Oh, that one there, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, I'm not going to fire with that guy. I suppose I could head down that way now-ish. The uranium or the uh, uh, aluminum going again. All right. I don't think this one mobile Sam can take Florence. Brazil doesn't seem to have any ships around. I haven't seen any. So Florence should survive and then I can take it next turn. Yeah, I don't think they have any ships. My battleship is still repairing. <laughs> I will finish a seaport in four turns, so Bosenica should have pretty good production with that. And I could start spamming battleships and maybe get a carrier and so on. Yeah, and an army of battleships, you are very hard to stop in mm -hmm. terms of like the AI doing anything for you or against you. We oh. could also go for robotics after computers instead of lasers and get missile cruisers. Missile cruisers are pretty amazing, they just come so late into the game and they aren't an upgrade from other units. But they have 100 ranged combat strength compared to 65 on battleships. Wow. You know, I'm very tempted to keep this city. It's got a circus, a coliseum already, a zoo. It's got two works of art. Is it a net positive happiness? Because if so, you might as well keep it and block its growth or whatever. Well, my happiness went up with it, so mm -hmm. yeah. Probably I worth keeping it then. I guess I will. Oh, 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 okay. I I misread something, but yeah, my happiness is still fine, as is. Oh, yeah, you didn't take the create puppet penalty into account, yeah? That's right. Mm -hmm. um, but once it's out of resistance, you can build the courthouse, and which will get plus three happiness because of the ideals. Yeah, it which will be... still be a net positive. Mm -hmm. Gotta cost a lot of money to make rocket artillery. The mobile SAMs are cheap, though. Oh, yeah, they are a little bit too spammable, in my opinion, or a, a little bit too good for an entire air unit. They are almost as good as a tank. Mm -hmm. Just one less mobility and five less combat strength. So I guess I'm mostly going to leave my units where they are with the idea that a war against Brazil may, may come after this. Uh, or though, no, we're talking about continuing to fight against France, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. So I guess I'll move them back north. And you know, I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't actually use tanks or that line of units. Because you are basically getting plus one movement and plus five combat strength for one oil. It's definitely worth one oil when you can use oil for battleships, yeah. fighters, bombers and such. I yeah. would prefer to use oil for bombers. Oh, absolutely. No, if tanks cost oil, then there's no real point mm -hmm. to doing it. Movement is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not yeah. that nice. So, um, are you planning on building the Hubble Space Telescope? Uh, I mean, I know yeah, we don't need I the should. spaceship victory necessarily, mm -hmm. but you have pretty good I'll production. I'll do that after the seaport, I think. I do want to finish that seaport. That will give me quite a lot of extra production. Yeah. All right, let's move this to the north. It's been improved. But again, if I start building Hubble, that means I won't have time to build up a fleet. Mm, that's true. I mean, we could just skip the Hubble. The scientists are nice, but mm -hmm. I don't know if we just. I think know. the biggest threat is Brazil winning for tourism, not yeah. necessarily someone building a spaceship. Yeah, in which case, just building the military for a proper strike is your priority. Uh, can you get a great engineer in some near future? I can't. I don't have enough great engineer points. Good question. Um, oh, and if we have a World get... Congress penalty for that. Uh, Tours actually has a 
bunch save up. 28 turns. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much as fast as it's going to happen. Do you have a garden in that city? No, no, no. That's The tours has just been taken. I guess I could build one. So yeah, you could build a garden, stop your great scientists, oh, and wait. if you manage to get a great engineer before anyone else builds Hubble, then you can rush Hubble. It actually does have a garden. I didn't build it, but it's there. Just remember that you would have to stop great scientists from popping, because that would delay the great engineer. Yeah. They so share the same pole. The riders are fine, but there we go, there's an example. But I think that's the best way, because right now it would take me 30 turns to build Hubble. So that's roughly the same time you can get a great engineer in. And I wouldn't okay, have to sacrifice military production for it. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to pop a great scientist before the uh, before the great engineer anyway. I'm 48 turns away from a great scientist, so... Because I just mm -hmm. got one. Okay. Alright, no, this is feeling alright. <laughs> uh, let's move the great general north. Enemy France might actually get wiped out in this game. Well, I'll shed no tears. <laughs> yeah, I agree. They are down to five cities, and we will take at least two of them with little to no effort. Oh, and mm. the nice thing about Lyon is that it actually has a manufactory. <laughs> Two manufactories. That's really? Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. It's always great to take uh, cities that have great percentile improvements. Yeah, I love like, doing that. A good guy AI. Making my and life some, a little well, bit easier. And some of the AIs love spamming great tile improvements. Mm -hmm. I've seen AI cities with like five great tile improvements sometimes. Jeez. It doesn't always happen, but it does happen sometimes. My artillery is getting really strong now. All my artillery has logistics, <laughs> and two of them have plus one range. I have at least two, maybe three with logistics, I can't remember. It's a lot of French archaeologists. And that's usually like the best way to win domination get a core of super upgraded units, and AIs just want to be able to stop them most of the time. Mm -hmm. You just need to be careful not to lose them, but if you don't do anything silly, it's usually pretty hard to lose super upgraded units. Discovered combustion. I don't think we were looking... Right, we got the destroyers. Uh, intercept. Yeah, I'm not building any land ships, that's for sure. Building a couple of destroyers might not be a bad idea, though. Oh, also, as many people pointed out, mm -hmm. I had a masked man sitting, like, behind the city name for, like, I don't know, 100 years? Oh! I never, I, I never saw him because his icon was blocked by the city name. <laughs> we, uh, where? In your capital? <laughs> yeah, right next to my capital. I just oh. upgraded him to rifleman. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, he's stuck, like, one in 1,000 years ago. No, no, muskets are strong. So, what's bombarding Marseille? That's not you. Uh, Someone else is making a move against it. I have no idea. Interesting. Um, do I need open borders with Brazil? City-state, maybe? I don't think I do. Might be city-state or something. I don't could know. Be, could be ships. I mean, they are at war with a bunch mm -hmm. of people. Well, I think I'm about to find out anyway. Can you move that mobile sum a little bit? Yeah, do you want me to move forward or to uh, the side? Anywhere, I want to move to that tile. All right. Uh, we got French submarines. We have taken damage, but that's it. Hmm. Okay, I got rid of that submarine. I can do damage to the city, but I don't necessarily want the AI to take it. Hmm. I would do tons of damage if I attack it right now. I think I'll just wait one turn. Yeah, I have a cavalry that can almost get there, but not quite. I'll have it. I can uh, reduce it to zero easily on the next turn. So okay. I'll just wait one turn. 
and then take it on the next one. <laughs> I have no idea what's attacking it. Might be the city state. Because it's allied with Brazil and Brazil is at war with France. Everyone is at war with France. Yeah. It's the world hobby. Yeah. Beat up Napoleon. Napoleon does have 20,000 gold. Shame AI sucks at spending gold efficiently. So yeah, well, Brazil has 31,000. Mm -hmm. You can just buy all the city states. Yeah. Or buy a massive army. Yeah. And it's like, that's clearly, that's not like a failure of the AI, that's a conscious decision to make oh, yeah, the AI yeah. not spend that stuff. For, for sure. Oh. He's offering me Troy in exchange for peace. Which I'm gonna refuse, because we should be able to take all this stuff anyway, but... Oh yeah. Unless he's willing to give me, uh, what are we attacking? Marseille? Yep. I'll ask for Marseille and Troy. Is Troy the one to the north of Marseille that we're aiming for? That's next to England? Uh, Rowan. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let that me ch one. change this around then. And then we'll have a drag body. London is already taking damage. I think it might fall before we actually get there. Yeah. So he won't do it. <laughs> but I'm taking Marcel anyway. I'm okay. Now I'm down to one happiness. So that's probably all I can take for now. Okay. Let me see if I can uh, negotiate for Rudwa now. Probably not. He's teed off for me Troy still, which is interesting. Because, I'm, I'm, I mean, I think we're fine if we just take Urel and then end it there. I'd be at negative happiness as well, but I could recover we somehow. We should be, I think. I'm checking my courthouse. The courthouse is done. Well, I might have some problems with a 21 pop city. <laughs> because yeah. the city won't lose half population if you get it in a deal. Right. If you keep all 21. Right, so I would definitely be pretty deep in the negatives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Just advance forward. We'll have to thin the herd a little bit before we take it. Oh, Manhattan Project. I probably want to build that. But I'm going to get started on some more battleships. We'll need that one way or the other. Mm -hmm. If we want to try winning the game. Well, I like the idea of winning. Oh yeah, me too. Napoleon is actually trying to attack Orleans. Well, that's not going to work out for him. He did capture my worker, which was a little bit annoying. He has so many workers. Yeah. Considering how many we took in the war, it's kind of shocking. Yeah. Uh, what are my most profitable trade routes? Uh, Paris to Edinburgh. That's good. Sign delegates. Oh, world leader. Um, I just voted for myself. Yeah, no reason to do any trickery there. Because we can't get a positive relationship boost mm -hmm. in any way with this, can we? I don't think so. No. Who am I voting for? Oh, I'm voting for you. I'll vote for you. That was weird that that was, like, the choice at the top. Not me, but you. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, usually the thing at the top is always you, right? So, Probably something to do with us being a team, I guess. Yeah, and you being like player one. Yeah, and I think we're getting a reload, which is probably a good moment to make a cut. We're at 28 minutes or so. Absolutely. Well, there, this was a part that was pretty strong. Yep. Hopefully we don't <laughs> overextend, but uh, I'm feeling okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about, about this. Mm-hmm. Well, everyone, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time.